Good morning. Welcome to New York, week two. Big games last night in Charlotte, but we are not there. We'll be there in a few hours, maybe a little bit longer, but right now we're getting ready to head over. It's early morning, if you, if you can't tell. How could you? This is the first time that they've ever seen the, your apartment. Uh, I'm in New York and you're in LA. It's true. Well, we're headed to Good Morning America. I'm recording a segment this morning with them to talk about our documentary film. It's coming out in Tribeca on Wednesday and also give the ESPN2 game a plug tonight, the ABC game next weekend a plug. See what else they ask. It's a big deal. We've never been on GMA. I'm stoked. You know, one of my favorite people I've never met is on GMA, Michael Who's, Strahan. Great. Are you wearing that whole coat situation too? Please, Brett. This is a knit Armani double-breasted sweater. Ah, uh, my bad. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? It's 7 o'clock. Yeah. Uh. That's the other big mic. Yeah, we have my brother, and then we have Big Mike Strahan. And you know, this guy and I have a similar haircut, don't we? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, I'm nice to meet you. Paul. The Premier Lacrosse League had its inaugural season just three years ago. Now the league's co-founder, Paul Rabel, is expanding the sport's reach with a new documentary called Fate of a Sport. It premieres at the Tribeca Film Festival this Wednesday. Thanks so much for being with us. What's it like taking the game out of the arena and now seeing it on a big screen? It, it's definitely a bizarre experience. It, it's not something we intended on when we were first building the league. Uh, but similar, I would say lacrosse is similar to action sports or other emerging leagues where prior to building the PLL, we had to capture our own media. So when we were building the league in, in the face of our competitor at the time, Major League Lacrosse, which I'd played in for 10 years. We knew that, and I knew that it was going to be kind of swim or drown. So we wanted to record that. And then we brought on a director and Michael Doniger, a producer and Matt Tolmack, and they took it from there because I don't know much about the fundamentals of filmmaking. Good luck to you. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Hope you watched the film. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. Great job. Thanks. You know what I'm really looking forward to right now? Seeing the cannons win tonight? Oh. Ready? I'm ready. Cool. Let's hit it. We made it. This is the venue. Look at this thing. Yeah. Last time I was here, I was playing with the Lizards. Came up that right alley. Jojo Morasco backdoored. I backhanded it to him. He caught it. Scored. Run that. What team is that? Looks like Atlas. They're here. Atlas Cannons tonight. Ride or die, Nooners. Are they both coming? There's a cannon too. Should we cue the arrival video? Yeah. Cue that motherfucker. Chunks! Each fucking four minutes, we attack! First quarter, let's attack the first third! First four minutes! Right, one at a time. Let's come out flying. Bulls on three, one, two, three. Go, 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 go. Woo! Come here. Yeah. Looking for the skip in front, and it trickles in. Up ahead, oh. Morocco got back and made the save. Chris Gray right on the door to step, and that is too easy. Gray, there's that jumper. A little question mark we saw so many times in North Carolina. Robert Dennis! Boomstick! What's up, bro? What's up, man? Dude, the, uh, the crowd back here is pretty lit. Pretty good lacrosse player back in your days, a midi. Uh, give me a give me scouting report on your lacrosse game. 
It would have been a lot better on this field. I was talking with uh, with Paul Rabel, and he said they shortened the field 10 yards, and I could only make it up and back one or two times until I was done. So this would have fit my game a little more. Good. How are you? Good. Fun one. Congrats. Yeah. How you doing? Sore. Yeah, you got hit quite a bit. Yeah, they were coming for me. Yeah, yeah. It was fun though. Bro, it was good stuff. You a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Talk shit. Well, yeah, a little bit. Well, welcome to the league. Yeah, yeah. First, first, uh, first pedal, uh, first possession. I'm coming out of the box, subbing yeah. on. Just get drilled in the stub. It goes, oops, my bad. That's <laughs> it's said? like, yo, I do. So from there, I was like, it's happening. It's kind, it's kind, it's kind of a right of passage. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But right, I'll see you around. How you doing? Hey, great game, Tom. Just Thanks, busting man. his balls. Thanks. Okay. He's complaining. He left his backup on the field out there, and I was like, I didn't even know he had a backup. I, one. This is my first year with the backup, actually, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and two, he just uses a shovel, so like, you, you might as well give him one of those fiddle sticks. Same <laughs> you got a nice little back here. One that more sheet than I'm used hard, to. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. tough. Yeah, I got plenty of these right here. Right Bang! Here. I miss those though. Because Darnold's like, what's up, brother? He was, he was like, know. good. It must suck to get checked like that. Kiko was like, yeah, that's why you play. It's like, God, sometimes getting contact just feels good. It's <laughs> the <laughs> so first game. Yeah, we just need to get Lyle back. He's a big piece. Water dogs whips. He's breaking ankles early, Ryan. Nardella's <laughs> got it. To the wing, Carlson. One more, and a goal by Gunnarsson. And just like that, a one possession game. Get a look at the great crowd we had here in Charlotte. Yeah, they, they hung out here, it's like midnight. Overtime, Whip Snakes won. What a weekend, what a day, you know? Popped here in a uh, couple short hours after waking up at 6 a.m. in New York. Next week we have Tribeca. See you guys in Long Island.